TP-Link AXE 16000 Quad Band 16 Stream Wi-Fi Router, or Archer AXE 300, from TP-Link sets out to be the ultimate Wi-Fi 6E router, and in most ways, it is. This router can handle a full speed of 2.4 gigabytes per second, wireless device connections at both 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz. So, whether you're trying to make the most of a fast 160 megahertz Wi-Fi 6 connection or a Wi-Fi 6E connection, this router keeps up with ease. Beyond the technical details, this router is absolutely beastly. Even compared to other Wi-Fi 6E routers, the Archer AXE 300 is gigantic and TP-Link hasn't done much to make it blend in. In fact, with a modern design and impressive materials, this router is as much of a statement piece as it is technology. Well, as long as that statement is about how much of an extreme power user you are. The TP-Link AXE 16000 router, also known as the Archer AXE 300, is an excellent choice for people who want to keep their network on the bleeding edge of wireless technology. As a member of the TP-Link's latest Wi-Fi 6E series routers, it is designed the top-of-the-line specifications, complete with several antennae and styled angles among other high-spec features. Wi-Fi 6E is a relatively new advancement in wireless standards, having appeared not long after Wi-Fi 6 in terms of time. To provide a briefer explanation, this newest wireless standard includes an extra frequency of 6 GHz that has less interference and better latency. It also provides an additional 7 160 MHz ultra-wide channels to increase data transmission speeds. This increase in streams provides higher connection speed, and your client devices have more paths to communicate with your Wi-Fi router. In fact, Wi-Fi 6E enabled clients' devices to enjoy nearly triple the speed of its predecessor, Wi-Fi 5. However, keep in mind that Wi-Fi 6E capable clients are still in their infancy. As a result, it may take some time before the full potential of this router's cutting-edge capabilities is realized. On the other hand, future-proofing a purchase may frequently be a wise idea, particularly in the case of high-end technology. A router like the Archer AXE300 costs around $599, and you don't want it to be out of date in a month, let alone a year after you purchase it. If you've considered buying a router like this, you're looking for as much power as possible. The Quad Band AXE16000 connection is second to none, with 4.8 gigabytes per second on the 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz bands, plus another 1.2 gigabytes per second at 2.4 gigahertz. These massive numbers are thanks to 160 MHz support at both 5 GHz and 6 GHz, making the Archer AXE 300 an absolute performance beast. If you haven't seen 6 GHz of support show up on any of your devices, that's not surprising. Wi-Fi 6E saw the debut of these 6 GHz bands, and so far, only a handful of phones support the new tech as well as some high-end Windows 11 devices. Now for the most satisfying part, unboxing. TP-Link Archer AXE 300 comes in a huge cardboard box with the usual trademark TP-Link colors. You see a picture of the router on the front cover as well as its most important characteristics, starting with its specifications and Wi-Fi 6E compatibility. On the sides and on the back of the box, you will find further information about this product its hardware and software features. If you take the time to read everything, you'll have a pretty good idea about everything this router has to offer. Opening the box and after taking everything out, you'll have the following items. The Archer AXE 300 router itself, its power adapter, an RJ45 Ethernet network cable, and a quick setup guide. As this is a very powerful router, it requires a large power adapter, the size of those used for laptops. The unboxing experience of the TP-Link Archer AXE 300 is both pleasant and straightforward. You definitely get the impression that you just bought a premium router. If you look on all the sides of the TP-Link AXE 16000, you'll see that there are ventilation grids everywhere. That's because inside this router resides some incredibly powerful hardware. A quad-core Broadcom chip running at 2 GHz, 1 GB of RAM, yes, you heard that right and storage for the firmware. 
All this hardware emits the Wi-Fi signal on four bands. The first one is the 2.4 GHz band, using either Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 4 depending on your preferred standard. The total theoretical bandwidth is 1148 megabytes per second. The next two bands are the 5 GHz bands, using either Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 5, depending on what you want. The total theoretical bandwidth for each is 4,804 megabytes per second when using Wi-Fi 6. And lastly, the 6 GHz band, using only the Wi-Fi 6E standard. The total theoretical bandwidth for it is 4,804 megabytes per second. Summing up all four bands, you get a maximum theoretical bandwidth of 15,560 megabytes per second. That's a whole lot of bandwidth. However, as always, no router is faster than your internet connection. And you'll be happy to learn that the TP-Link AXE 16000 Quad Band Wi-Fi 6E router works with regular internet connections that are up to 1 gigabytes per second but also with newer and much faster 2.5 gigabytes per second and 10 gigabytes per second internet connections. But enough with the technicalities. Let's take a small break and speak of its design a bit more. The antennas themselves are rather thick and there are eight of them. On one of the sides, you find the convenient buttons for its WPS, Wi-Fi, LED lights, and an on-off switch plus a USB 3.0 port on the right side. On the bottom of the router, there are even more ventilation grids, a sticker with details about the router you bought, and two holes for wall mounting, with dimensions of 9.1 by 9.1 by 2.7 inches. That is 232 by 232 by 68 millimeters, and a weight of 3.75 pounds, or 1.70 kilograms. It is unquestionably a substantial router. Here are the specifications of the TP-Link Archer AXE300 Wi-Fi 6E router. The Archer AXE300 includes a variety of ports that provide certain features not available in other routers of a similar price range. To begin with, there are four gigabit LAN connections and one 2.5G WAN LAN port on the system, which is rather impressive. Next, this router goes one step above and beyond by including not one, but two dual 10G WAN LAN ports, which makes this router future-proof for wired connectivity. Archer AXE300 provides flexible support for both fiber and copper connections, so no worries there. WAN-LAN options and flexible 10 gigabytes per second, 2.5 gigabytes per second, and 1 gigabytes per second ports make it an ideal solution for future-proofing your home network. Its USB 3.0 port offers up to 10 times faster transfer speeds than USB 2.0. This router's hardware specifications also include a 2.0 gigahertz quad-core, 64-bit CPU with 1 gigabyte RAM memory that handles huge throughput to eliminate any lag, which results in fast connections and minimal latency even under the heaviest transmission loads. Archer AXE300 future-proofs your home Wi-Fi with higher capacity of up to 200 plus devices. Spec-wise, this router includes everything you want. From Wi-Fi 6E support to 160 megahertz Y channels on Wi-Fi 6 and WPA3 encryption. Setting up and using the TP-Link Archer AXE300. The installation process works the same as for all other routers. You plug in the internet cable into the WAN port, or you connect it to the modem provided by your internet service provider, ISP. Turn it on, wait for it to boot, and for all the LEDs to light up. Then, connect a mobile device or a laptop to the Wi-Fi emitted by the TP-Link AXE16000 Quad Band Wi-Fi 6E router. Then either start the TP-Link Tether app on your smartphone, or tablet, or fire up a web browser on your laptop and navigate to tplinkwifi.net or the IP address of the router. It's usually 192.168.0.1. For this review, I used the TP-Link Tether app for the initial setup. Then you're asked to enter the username and password for connecting the router to the internet, if your connection requires one, that is. 
Once that is done, you create your Wi-Fi network and provide the network names and passwords for all four bands. One 2.4 GHz band, two 5 GHz bands, and one 6 GHz band. The Tether app then asks you to set up the admin username and password for your router. I highly recommend you use a different password than the one you're using for connecting to the Wi-Fi. Next, your settings are applied and a network optimization process begins. It shouldn't take more than a minute. Wi-Fi and Ethernet Performance I tested the TP-Link Archer AXE300 at my home where my internet fiber plan lets me upload and download at speeds of 1 gigabit per second. At a short distance to the router, my iPhone 13 Pro Max was able to get around 500 megabits per second in download speed and 700 megabits per second through the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. The next test was to see how the Wi-Fi range was. I was getting a speed of around 100 megabits per second all around and far from the router in a 1300 square foot house. The signal dropped from 3 bars to 2 bars at a specific location in the first floor front room with the router located on the second floor end of the room. With an ethernet cable directly plugged into my PC to the router, I was getting around 900 megabits per second in download and upload speed, as expected from my gigabit internet connection. This router also features one mesh capability. For those staying in a bigger home, it's possible to link the Archer AXE 300 with a one mesh extender. One mesh is a simple way to form a mesh network with a single Wi-Fi name for seamless whole home coverage. Connecting a one mesh range extender to a one mesh router results in eliminating weak signal areas with Wi-Fi coverage for the whole house. TP-Link One Mesh can combine both the TP-Link wireless router and wireless extender to be a mesh with Wi-Fi system. You'll need a One Mesh supported router and extender and they will provide a mesh Wi-Fi network with all the benefits like seamless roaming, unified Wi-Fi name, and centralized management. TP-Link Home Shield security feature available for enhanced security defense against the latest cyber threats. TP-Link's premium security services come with advanced IoT and network protection features to keep your home network safe. Home Shield keeps all connected clients protected against malicious sites, port intrusions, and DDoS, providing a safe and secure network environment. Home Shield blocks unauthorized access protects against cyber threats, and encrypts your data to keep these safe. It also provides strong parental controls and provides more detailed reports on your home Wi-Fi. With HomeShield, you have all necessary tools to manage your network. So what do I like about this router? Well, it works with 2.5 gigabytes per second and 10 gigabytes per second internet connections, Wi-Fi 6E support, and four Wi-Fi bands. Plenty of high-speed Ethernet ports, powerful hardware that can handle many network clients at the same time, many features for extreme users, top-notch security tools and parental controls, tons of advanced features including VPN, much more affordable price than the competition, easy setup and use, and the easy firmware upgrades. Now what would I change? Unfortunately, HomeShield Pro requires a subscription. The router itself is massive and heavy, but that would be about it. Conclusion. If you're looking to upgrade to the fastest Wi-Fi 6E router you can get, look no further. This router nails just about every aspect. There's simply no getting around that the price of the router is nearly two to three times higher than the vast majority of people should be spending. All that being said, this router was flawless for the weeks I ended up testing it. 
Overall, if you are in the market for a router that can handle 6G devices and need to upgrade your home setup, the Archer AX E300 is certainly a choice to consider. It's reliable and quick, and the setup is a snap. This is a set it and forget it type of router. Perfect for those who don't want to fuss with their home network, but need something that will work efficiently with many devices without slowing down. For those looking to also future-proof their Wi-Fi, the TP-Link AXE300 would be the perfect device for it. We highly recommend it. As always, thanks for checking our review. Also, if you're interested in learning more about this product, we provided the links in the description below. If you like and found this video helpful, do not forget to give a like and comment, and hit that subscribe button. See you later.